Welcome to part 3. In this video, we will continue installing the walk-in platforms. Let's get started. For easy identification, lay out the parts needed for the installation. Two 5 16 inch by 2 inch by 6 and 3 quarter inch U-bolts. Four lock washers, four nuts, and two plates. Measure the distance from the front cross member to the rear cross member. Mark the ramp. Clamp the ramp to the work table. Cut on the mark. Turn the ramp over to finish the cut. Grind and smooth out the ends of the ramp. Test fit the ramp. If you plan to install the CE Smith 40 inch LED guide post, you will have to cut out a section of the rear ramp in order for the brackets to fit properly. Clamp the ramp to the work table. Cut to remove one half inch of the left inside section of the ramp. Use a cutoff wheel to cut down the inside. Turn the ramp over and clamp to the work table. Mark the cut location on the bottom. Cut on the mark. Finish the cut with the jigsaw.
Grind the area to remove all loose metal and sharp edges. Place the ramp into position on the rear of the trailer. Insert the U-bolt at an angle through the step slots over the rear cross member. Tighten the bolt securely, alternating on each side. Insert the U-bolt at an angle through the center step slots over the front cross member. Tighten the bolt securely, alternating on each side. The rear ramp installation is complete. Test the stabilization of the ramps by walking on them. Make any adjustments if needed. Winch the boat onto the trailer to check for proper clearance over the ramps. The last walkway platform I install on the boat trailer is a wise plank. It will be installed in front of the winch stand next to the aluminum ramp. The solid polyethylene plastic plank with slip resistant pads makes it easy and safe to step up onto the trailer tongue. For easy identification, lay out the parts needed for the installation. One 30 inch walkway plank, two anchor plates, four carriage bolts, four lock washers, four nuts, and nine slip resistant pads. Position the walkway on the trailer tongue. Place it right up against the aluminum ramp. There are four sets of bolt holes in the walkway. Two are on two and a quarter inch centers and two are on three and a quarter inch centers. If the trailer tongue is narrow enough, Use the two set of holes with two and a quarter inch centers. Insert four carriage bolts down through the walkway. Attach the anchor plate to the front two carriage bolts. Install the lock washer. Install the nut, hand tighten only at this time. Make sure the anchor plate is even and square with the trailer tongue. Follow the same procedure with the other anchor plate.
Check and make sure the walkway is positioned correctly. Tighten all the bolts, alternating from one side to the other until secure. Caution! Do not over tighten. Peel off the paper that covers the adhesive backing on the slip resistant pads. Press them into position on the raised areas. The Wise Plank Walkway installation is complete. Loosen the bolts on the trailer jack. Adjust the jack's position on the trailer tongue until it can be placed into travel position without hitting the walkway platform. Tighten the bolts, alternating from one side to the other until secure. If I have to back down into the water with my vehicle, I will lower the tailgate, pull out the step and handle before I back down the boat ramp, and most of the time I can climb onto the trailer without having to walk in the water. Be sure to watch my next video. I will show you how to install the CE Smith 40 inch LED lighted guide post for your boat trailer. Thank you for watching.